June 28th. On this day we celebrate the memory of our Holy Fathers Sergius and Hermann, founders of the Monastery of Balaam. Our Holy Father Sergius was said to be originally from the East and of Greek descent. Divine Providence led him to the Karelia region in the far north to spread the good news there. He settled on the principal island of Lake Ladiga, at the place where, according to tradition, the Apostle Andrew had once planted a cross. He led there a strict ascetic life for nearly sixty years, exhausting his flesh with fasting and vigils, but radiating the joy and the peace of the Holy Spirit. During the day he would copy the Holy Scriptures and preach the Word of God to the people, who asked in great numbers to receive holy baptism. Little by little a monastery began to grow on the site of the saints' retreat. Saint Sergius guided them with great wisdom, spending his last last years in a cave where he finally gave his soul into God's hands in peace. He was buried with great honors by one of the indigenous chiefs whom he had baptized with the name of Quart and who raised a great stone cross over his grave. Saint Herman, who seems to have been one of his first disciples or who may even have come with Sergius from the east, became his successor. His conduct was like that of his spiritual father in all things, both in ascetic labors and in apostolic works, and because of this he was able to confirm and strengthen the monastery that St. Sergius had founded. When he died he was buried next to St. Sergius, on the site of St. Andrew's cross, but shortly after this the monastery was exposed to nomadic raids, and the monks took their relics to another place, and afterwards to Novgorod. Once the relics had been brought back to the monastery, several attempts were made over the course of the centuries to open their tomb, but a flame would shoot out from it, enveloping the tomb. These two holy fathers had received from God the gift of prophecy and insight, and they poured out on their disciples the munificence of divine grace. After their deaths, they continued to protect the monastery and the inhabitants of the region by their miracles, being particularly invoked as the protectors of sailors, and for the deliverance of the possessed. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, You are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ, as though the world and all therein did not exist. Ye settled on an island in the sea, whereon ye struggled assiduously against the invisible foe. By fastings, vigils, and all night standing, ye wisely subjected your bodies to the Spirit. 
For this cause did he receive worthy crowns from the right hand of the Almighty One. And now as he stand before the all-holy Trinity, O blessed Father Sergius and Hermen, pray that we be preserved in peace and that our souls be saved. O thou who hast born of the Virgin, Drown thou, I pray thee, the three parts of my soul in the depths of dispassion. As of old thou didst drown the mounted captains of Pharaoh, that in the mortality of my body as on a timbrel I may chant thee a hymn of victory. O holy Father Sergius and Hermann, pray to God for us. O Christ, O Son of Righteousness, illumine me this day with the light of the knowledge of thee, that with heart and mouth I may hymn now beacons, Sergius and Hermann, O unto thy glory, O Master. Holy Father, Sergius and Hermann, pray to God for us. The Holy One said one to another, Let us shun the wide path, for it leads to destruction. Let us flee sinful passions, for they lead down to hell. Let us love the narrow way, that we may inherit everlasting love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Watering the ground of your heart with tears, as with rain, and warming it with the fervor of your prayer, as with the sun. You brought forth fruits of virtue for the husbandmen of the vineyard, O Sergius and Hermann. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I him and I glorify the virtues of the saints, yet cease not to do evil myself. Woe is me. Yet through the supplications of thy mother, O Master Christ, awaken me from the sleep of sloth, wretch that I am unto the exercise of the virtues. Neither in wisdom, nor in power, nor yet in riches do we boast, but in thee, O Christ, the hypostatic wisdom of the Father. For none is holy save thee, O thou that lovest mankind. O Holy Father, Sergius and Hermann, pray to God for us. Disobeying the commandment, our forefather was deprived of the sweetness of paradise, but the Holy Ones, inheriting everlasting life through obedience, delight in the vision of God. Holy Father, Sergius and Hermann, pray to God for us. The Heavenly Father, perceiving your mystic activity, O lovers of quietude, had compassion upon you as his sons, enriched you with grace, and has glorified you in the heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a pure heart, let us honor the lovers of purity, earthly angels, chosen vessels of the Holy Spirit, pure reflection of chastity, Sergius and Hermann. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A slave to the stomach, how can I subject flesh to spirit and acquire angelic purity? Yet, O most pure one, boast of virgins, deliver me from this irrational captivity. Departing far from the crash of the waves of life, from the lands of the east, he came to an island of Lake Ladoga, where neither the deep of the passions nor the tempest of adverse spirits could shake your firmness of mind, O Sergius and Hermann. And exercising yourselves in quietude and goodly struggle, he was shown to be well-pleasing unto Christ. Standing now before his throne, make supplication that he ever regard the sight of your habitation with a merciful eye, saving our souls in peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all-pure and only Virgin Mother, as the words divine and sacred dwelling, thou surpassest the angels in purity. But as for me who surpass all in sinfulness, and by my sins of the flesh am defiled and stained, 
Wash me clean with the divine waters of thy mighty prayers, and grant great mercy unto me, O modest maid. Seated in glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus most divine is come on a light cloud, and with his incorrupt arm has saved those who cry, Glory to thy power, O Christ. O Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. Whose vines of the vineyard of Christ, which put forth the grapes of the virtues, fill our hearts with the wine of divine gladness. Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for Even us. Even that you are in the joy of the righteous, O all blessed ones, we beseech you to drive away all grief and bitterness from our souls that rejoicing we may glorify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The dark tempest of the passions has arisen up against me, and the light of grace is hid from mine eyes. Yet, O noetic witnesses, haste ye to aid my benightedness. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The choirs of angels and the righteous, and we sinners beseech you, O compassionate Lord, through the intercession of thy mother, have pity and save us. The ungodly perceive not thy glory, O Christ, but waking at dawn out of the night, we hymn thee, only begotten one who lovest mankind, thou effulgence of the glory of the Father's divinity. O Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. Having cleansed their souls through utmost serenity, prayer, fasting, and vigilance, the lovers of the wilderness were made receptacles of the light of the threefold Son. Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. Not as reeds shaken with the wind, but as steadfast pillars founded by faith on Christ, the cornerstone, Sergius and Herman, shone forth with the virtue. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Emulating the life of John in the wilderness of the Jordan, and the quietude of Elias on the mountain, freed from the yoke of the passions by their spiritual activity, the venerable ones were illumined by the vision of God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art my protection from the temptations of the enemy, O mistress. Be thou ever the light of my heart, which has been darkened by the griefs of life. And save me, O Theotokos. I have come unto the depths of the sea, and the tempest of my many sins has engulfed me. But as God lead up my life from the abyss, O greatly merciful one, O Holy Father Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. As an unblemished sacrifice and a fatted holocaust did the holy ones offer themselves to God, and they were shown to be more pleasing to him than any whole burnt offering and oblation. Holy Father Sergius and Herman, pray to God for Beholding us. Beholding the Lord before you with the eyes of your mind, O divinely blessed ones, blamelessly did you follow in the steps of his commandments, having feet made steadfast by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The God-loving Spirit had no rest until you found a place of tranquility, O Sergius and Herman, for united to God through faith and love, you have inherited everlasting repose. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Swallowed up not by a whale, as was Jonah, but by sin I cry out. O Master Christ, through the supplications of thine all pure mother, and of the venerable fathers, deliver me from corruption, as thou art compassionate. Departing from the life of the world, he followed Christ in rejecting the world, and reached the great lake Gladoga, abiding on the island of Valam therein, he led a life equal to that of the angels, whence in gladness he passed over to the mansions of heaven, and now standing with the angels before the throne of the Master, remember us, thy children, whom you have gathered together, O divinely wise ones, that we may joyously cry out from the depths of our souls, 
Rejoice, O Sergius and Hermin, most blessed fathers. Ignorant, how shall I hymn the all-praised fathers? For the utterance of wisdom and the discourse of understanding have not been given unto me who am stuck fast in foolishness. O Jesus, bestower of understanding, eternal wisdom and hypostatic word of the Father, through the supplications of thy saints do thou thyself enlighten my mind and grant me speech, that with the voice of the angel I may hymn them, saying, Rejoice, noetic stars which have shone upon us from the east. Rejoice, true lovers of quietude. Rejoice, ye who blamelessly fulfilled the commandments of Christ. Rejoice, golden vessels filled with the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, animate pillars which make steadfast the house of fasting. Rejoice, ye lilies, white as snow in the purity of your hearts. Rejoice, olive trees which through Christ produce as fruit for us the oil of loving kindness. Rejoice, champions of the faithful who pierce the adversary with the spear of prayer. Rejoice, healers of bodily infirmities and spiritual passions. Rejoice, ye who hasten to the aid of the tempest-tossed who pray to you. Rejoice, great and most radiant beacons of Valam. Rejoice, O Sergius and Hermann, most blessed fathers. Rejoice, O Sergius and Hermann, most blessed fathers. The three youths in Babylon, having put to mockery the tyrant's command, cried out amid the flames, Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, O Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. The fire of divine love being within you, Sergius and Herman, the flame of lust and the fire of wrath were transformed into dew. Wherefore, rejoicing, you chanted in quietude, Blessed are thou, O Lord God of our Father. Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. As the youth did not serve the golden idols, so the venerable ones did not serve their flesh, but crucifying it with its passions and lusts, as did the Apostle Paul, they subjected it to their spirit, and being made honored temples of the Holy Spirit, cried out, Blessed are thou, O Lord God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As preservers of purity, the lovers of wisdom made themselves an abode for the most pure Godhead, and while in the flesh, through the mystic action of the Comforter, they were caught up to see things which transcend the world, chanting, Blessed are you, O Lord God of our Father, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As Mother of God, the unoriginate Word, O Mistress, I beg thee in compunction to deliver me from irrational passions, as the youths were delivered from the Chaldean furnace, that rejoicing with them I may chant, Blessed are thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O Almighty Deliverer of all, descending into the midst of the flame, that is, be do the pious youths, and it teach them to chant. Bless in him, the Lord, all ye works. O Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. With vigilant watchfulness and fervent supplication to Christ, the venerable ones put to shame the devil who is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, putting an end to his assaults. Wherefore, with the use they sang, all you works, bless in him the Lord. Holy Father, Sergius and Herman, pray to God for us. Sergius and Herman, taking up the whole armor of God on the mountains of Balaam, like Moses and Aaron, weakened the power of the adversary by the raising aloft of their mind and hands, contending in company with the faithful and chanting the hymn. Bless in him, the Lord, all you are. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. O unoriginate, almighty, consubstantial, holy trinity, through the supplications of thy saints, 
Deliver our souls from the assault of the three noetic foes. Have mercy and save all that piously confess thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Cause me to follow in good works those who live the God-pleasing life for all immaculate one. Fanning off from my soul the attacks of the evil demons and ever lead my mind up to see the commandments of thy Son and my Creator. Heap through weakness abode under the curse of disobedience, but thou, a virgin Theotokos, hast put forth blessing for the world through the offspring of thy childbearing. Wherefore we all magnify thee. O Holy Father, Sir Gifts and Herman, pray to God for us. Established by grace upon the steadfast rock of faith, struggling in quietude, having completed the course of fasting and received your reward from Christ, pray you now, all blessed ones, that he establish his faithful in faith and virtue. Holy Father, Sir Gifts and Herman, pray to God for us. The vanquishers of noetic foes, standing now before the throne of the King of the hosts of heaven, O Sir Gifts and Herman, entreat his goodness, that he grant victory and triumph unto all Orthodox Christians over their adversaries. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the mansions of heaven, O venerable ones, entreat the Master of all to preserve in peace your monastery, and our monastery, and all cities and lands where Christians dwell, and to save all of us who piously honor you. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, the cornerstone, is a foundation for the faithful and a stumbling block and a road of offense for the unbelieving. On that rock establish thou my thought, O mistress, and save me, for thou hast maternal boldness before him. Fleeing the tumult of the world, O ye lovers of serenity and piety, from the east did ye arrive at the calm haven of the Lamb, and thereon evangelically following after Christ in the virtues, ye ascended to the summit of perfection. And now delighting in the vision of God at the universal festival, O most blessed Sergius and Hermann, Entreat God who loves mankind that he save us all who piously honor you. Ooh. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, in the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, whose holy icon, known as the icon of the three hands, we celebrate this day at the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and All Praised Apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy Life Giving Cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisois the Great Brand and the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy, wonder-working, unmercenary saints Cyrus and John, who, the finding of whose precious relics we celebrate this day. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints Sergius and Hermann, the abbots of Valam Monastery. With the prayers of the holy martyr Papias, who was tortured and beheaded under Diocletian and Maximian. With the prayers of the holy, just, blessed Sergius the Magistrate, who founded the monastery of the Most Holy Mother of God by the Gulf of Nicomedia. With the prayers of the holy martyr Macedonius, who was perfected in martyrdom with his fingers and his toes being cut off. With the prayers of our righteous father Ulcian, with the prayers of Saint Paul the Physician, 
with the prayers of the holy two children, who, having been crucified, were perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of our righteous father Moses, the Anchorite, with the prayers of St. Donagus, Bishop of Libya, who was perfected in martyrdom by fire, with the prayers of the holy seventy martyrs in Scythopolis, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the holy three martyrs of Galatia, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of our righteous father Magnus, who reposed in peace while praying, with the prayers of the holy righteous martyr Argumir, who was beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 856, with the prayers of our righteous father Xenophon of Robeca, with the prayers of the holy new horror martyr Joseph, the priest who was slain in Damascus by the Muslims in 1860, with the prayers of St. Austell of Cornwall and Brittany, St. Crumin of Lacan and St. Aguila of Pruham, and those with them whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.